One of the most important problems in healthcare today is that many patients do not respond to drug treatments. According to a report from the US Food and Drug Administration, this affects between 38 to 75 of the patients with common diseases. But researchers from Linkoping University think this number can be reduced by implementing digital twin technology. The goal is to develop the digital twin of each individual patient's disease in order to tailor medication to each particular patient. So, what are digital twins? A digital twin is a highly complex virtual model that is the exact counterpart or twin of a physical thing. It uses real-time data and other sources to enable learning, reasoning and dynamically recalibrating for improved decision-making. But why are digital twins so relevant nowadays? Well, mostly because creating a digital twin of something allows us to try out alterations and adjustments that otherwise would be too expensive or risky to try in a real physical object. I will give you two examples of how digital twin technology has been used to improve different industries. Number one, digital twins for car testing. Car owners know very little about their tires, brake, engines or transmissions before they go to the garage. Imagine if a digital twin of your car could give you a periodic report and recommended maintenance based on its use. Did you know that Tesla creates a digital twin of every car it sells? They are using data from all sensors placed in the car in order to build an accurate representation of their cars and predict what will happen if one performs a certain action. For example, giving all the gathered data, the autopilot will be able to bring the speed down to prevent a potential crash. So, to summarize, digital twins are the long-term success of autonomous vehicles in the future. Number two, digital twins to optimize 3D metal printing. In the last few years, I've seen 3D printing evolve and get better at different materials. But 3D printing metal powder involves a complex thermodynamic process with high intensity lasers. This process is often less than perfect, leaving cold and hot spots from layer to layer, and ignoring them could result in a defective piece. Therefore, Siemens is offering a simulation solution that creates digital twins of 3D printed metal objects. This makes it possible to identify potential problems in advance and modify the object before it's printed. So, personalize maintenance for your car, making sure that your 3D printing pieces are right on point or even helping in medical diagnosis. Digital twins are all around us. I'm excited to see how the uses of this technology will develop in the near future. Thanks for watching the Digital Twin Tech Update. If you want to know more about BIT, please visit www.wearebit.com. See you in the next one.